earlier, a chum spotted an ad for a World War II fighter plane that's up for sale. So my dad and I decided to check it out. Wow, this is cool. So this is it? This is our 1942 North American AT-6 Texan. Are you guys interested in buying this airplane? Both of us have been talking about getting our pilot's license, and uh... I bet I could do a pretty good job of crashing this thing. <laughs> guys came down from the pawn shop to look at my AT-6 Texan. The reason I want to sell this airplane is my wife and I would like to build a house. I'm asking $185,000 for this airplane. It's absolutely worth every penny of it. So it's uh, a 1942. It flew in World War II and uh, the Korean War. This one did? Yeah, it did. So did it ever get shot? No, but it actually was a gunnery trainer. They actually had a gun mounted right here. And the pilots could actually fire the guns so in World War II, this was the airplane the government used to train all our pilots. The Tuskegee Airmen all flew this airplane down in Alabama. So uh, it's, a, it's a very famous airplane. Dominating the skies is one of the things that has made the United States military the strongest force for over 100 years. It's pretty badass. This plane was used to train the best pilots in the world. It has a newly overhauled engine. Looks like a bunch of Harley motors put together. <laughs> it does, and this thing actually sounds like nine Harleys all running. It's a nine-cylinder, 650 horsepower. <laughs> so how fast is it? Well, this airplane will cruise at 200 miles an hour, and the structure inside is a, a roll cage. So if they ever flipped it by accident on the ground, it would protect you. Can we look at the cockpit? I actually can't wait to see what it's like behind the controls of this thing. It's bigger than I thought it'd be inside here. There you go. The person getting trained would be in the back or the front? The instructor would be in the back seat. It's fully dual controlled, so there's a throttle, stick, and all the flight instruments are also in the back of the airplane as well as the front. So you could actually give me flight lessons in this thing, huh? That's what it was built for. Now, go ahead and place your feet on the rudder pedals there. Atta boy. And that steers the tail wheel that's on the ground. So what's this trigger for right here? You just shot the guns. Those 30 cows were blazing. I mean, it would definitely be cool to be flying this thing in World War II shooting Nazis. But I think I like the way I look at this thing. And who knows, it might actually make a great trainer for me and my dad. So how much do you want for it, my man? $185,000. I got a buddy who's a Navy fighter pilot. Do you mind if I have him come down and take a look at it? You know, if you think he's qualified, I think that's good enough. Let's bring it on. I have no question about the caliber of this airplane. I'm ready for this. This is my buddy, Matt. I'm a Marine Corps F-18 pilot with 18 years of experience, a graduate of the Naval Fighter Weapons School, Top Gun, and former US Navy Blue Angel pilot. Come on up, have a seat. Uh, he's got a clean cockpit set up. This aircraft is fairly basic to fly. Landing and takeoff is a little hard with the tail wheel, but literally with the stick, it's up, down, left, right to maneuver the aircraft. You've got a pretty easy throttle. So the last thing to do here is to take this airplane flying. Dennis and I should go airborne. Yeah, let's take her up. All right, let's do it. Do your stuff. I'm super excited to fly this aircraft. I spent most of my time in jets, and this will be really kind of a throwback. It'll be fun to fly this. Clear. I've inspected the exterior and the interior of the plane. We've looked at the log books. So I'm really excited to fly the aircraft. I wonder what it's like to just hop in any plane you see and be able to fly it. I don't know, but I think it would be pretty cool. OK, you ready to go? Okay. Here we go, man. Now just stick me in a neutral like that, steering up with your motor. I thought the aircraft performed very well on takeoff. We did a bunch of aerobatics. We did a couple loops. Barrel rolls. Oh, my God. Maybe one day I'll be able to fly it. The aircraft flew pretty awesome. So now we want to keep the nose straight. Here it comes. Oh, there it is. And put this little braking action. Apparently it works. So how was it? Awesome. <laughs> we had a blast. Good aircraft. Dennis, you've done a nice job restoring that. Oh. Oh. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. All right, so what do you think it's worth? Uh, right now, current market, what we're looking at, you know, I think it's fair value. It's about 170000 on the spot. OK. So. Yeah, I think that's probably a, a fair estimate. 
So what does it cost to own one of these things? First thing is you need to hangar it. That's about $300 a month. Then this aircraft needs to fly. It needs to get lubricated oil through the systems, fuel, everything's about $275 an hour to fly it. Seems like this thing's gonna cost me a grand a month just to own until I can sell it. Yeah, that's a, that's a safe number. All right, well, thanks, Matt. Okay, you bet. Great to see you. Matt, you're the man, dude. Okay, see you. Thanks a lot, Matt. Nice shot, dude. So what is your bottom dollar? I'd look at something around 165000 Oh. You know, we sort of came out here on a whim. Uh, so on a whim, I'll give you 140 grand. Yeah. It's getting warm. I mean, if I buy it off, it's going to sit around for a while. It's going to cost me money to own it until I resell it or figure out what the hell I'm going to do with it. Well, you know, it's a vintage and a classic airplane. There's so much heritage with this, and it appreciates yeah. in value. It's definitely something I'm interested in. You know what? Uh, 157. Kind of warm it up a little bit for you? No, it wouldn't. I mean, I, I'd go like 140 on it if you if you take it. You yeah. gave me 150. We'd probably have a deal today. Yeah. As a businessman, I will go 140. You know, if you come up just a little bit, at 145, we'd be shaking hands. I'll tell you what, my man. I'm going to go back and do a little bit more research. If I think we can pay pay you 145 for it, I'll give you a call and we'll do it. But uh, right now, I'm going to hold you at 140. Boy, we were really close. So why don't we uh, just uh, think about that a little bit, and uh, maybe there'll be a phone ringing between here and Vegas. Have a go with me. All right, thanks a lot, guys, for coming out. I'm shocked that they didn't take the offer. I'm bummed we got that close and couldn't make a deal. But I'm glad it was me and Corey that got to check out the plane. If we had sent Chum and the old man, they would have wasted the whole day playing around.